yeah, I'm working. I'm working uh, on my hobby here, uh, stripping a little bit of copper, and I'll get to some brass and copper there too. Oh, as long as I'm using it today, uh, long ago, before it was Irwin Vice Grip, it was uh, it was Peterson Vice Grip out of. Uh, I was just looking, does it say vice grip on there? Yes, it does. See, that was the original patent holder with some farmers in in uh, in uh, DeWitt, Nebraska. They started making making those, and they ultimately sold the patent. It's been copied and ripped off, and but anyhow, now I'm working on scrap. That's a uh, heat shield, I think, for what we call the weed burner exhaust. This this is aluminum, I gotta get the scrap metal out of there. This is my one of my hobbies. I do not believe in, in uh, using electricity or power tools when I'm working on my hobby. It makes me a little bit of money, or, uh, but not a lot. Now, uh, I read somewhere once that uh, men's hobbies usually run $250 a year. Well, mine shows me a little bit of profit just because of the way I do things. In fact, I used to haul it one to uh, 30 miles from here because it they paid better. I used to always make sure that I filled the gas tank out of the uh, out of my scrap money. But when, for you farmers out there, wouldn't that make a nice shoot off of a off of a uh, 30 uh, no, eight inch auger? Uh, it's it's ultimately it might lay around here for a while. It, uh, it might lay around here for a while to see if I can find another use for it. I was thinking about this. I was uh, a guy, H.H. Recycling. He's out of uh, uh, British Columbia somewhere. I've been up there. I, used, I trucked up there in the 80s and in the 90s. Beautiful country. Anyhow, he... Uh, he we, we kind of connected through YouTube, and I asked him about, there's a microwave laying down in the river bottom, and up here we got a, a $15 recycling fee. Uh, somebody was too cheap to pay the recycling fee, but he showed how to disassemble it safely, because there is a uh, capacitor that can hold electricity. He also warned about, uh, some spots to look out for but he made a video just for me of disassembling one he said it took him about less than 15 minutes it'll probably take me a half hour because i've never done it before but it goes against my grain that somebody would throw it down in the river bottom and just you know let, let somebody else deal with it that goes against my grain I, I what's difficult for me is you go into a neighborhood and it doesn't have to be that bad. I mean, uh, that, that's an attitude that feeds on itself. Uh, you got some elements that throw their garbage wherever, and there are good people that are living in those neighborhoods. It, just, it bothers me, but I, I'm, I am going to go after that uh, microwave one of these days before long, just because... Uh, I want to take it apart because I don't want to pay the $15 recycling fee for somebody else, but it just bothers me that somebody thinks that little of the world that they'd throw that down there. Well, anyhow, well, thank you.